So um, I've been working on uh, putting my home binder together, so I thought this would be a great time for me to share it with you. Home binder is a great uh, way for me to organize some of our household stuff. <clears throat> so um, let's get right into it. So these are some of the supplies that I used for my uh, home binder. So I just went to a dollar store and picked up uh, just a white binder with a clear pocket in here. And I had actually inserted, uh, these are shelf liners, and then I just cut out a white piece of uh, paper and wrote a home binder. Just very simple, very inexpensive way to spruce it up a little bit. I also used the Sharpies. These are the fine tip Sharpies that I used. Um, as you can see, oh, I can't focus. There we go. And scissors, glue, some page protectors, page dividers, and a three hole bunch. Everything aside from the Sharpies had come from the dollar store, so very inexpensive. Okay, so let me show. The inside of my binder so as you can see these are how I divided them the sections and I'm gonna go through them so you can see exactly what's inside so first things first I printed out calendar sheets and here I'm gonna write down our holidays our tournament travel uh, things like when I need to change the furnace filter, um, if I need to buy more salt and things like that for the water softener and uh, seasonal maintenance and things like that. Um, then over here, um, I had, uh, we carpool quite a bit for my children's sports. So I had uh, printed out, just made it uh, in pages and printed out a weekly calendar. And here I'm going to write out when we're driving, when it's our turn to drive. Phone numbers. So I'm going to in here, I'm going to keep phone number of um, doctors, different doctors, schools, attendants and things like that. Um, any other phone numbers that I find necessary that maybe I know that we all put it in our phones and things like that But sometimes things happen phone numbers disappear. So it's a good way to keep all those phone numbers in here um, I do a lot of freezer meals. So I have a section for here where I'm gonna throughout the months I do it about every three months. So and sometimes I come across recipes. So I had um Put a page protector where I can just slide the recipes in and then also to write stuff out and here I'm going to write a list if I need to, to buy things that I need to buy, things that I want to buy for that will make my freezer meal prep easier. Then the next one is home projects. Now this is a section for things that I want to do to uh, my house. So for example, uh, we've been in this house for a while and I still haven't um, painted my bath my master on suite and it is the only room left so I will write out things paint swatches things like that that I want um, to maybe use for my next project and then home maintenance is things that need to be done things that have to be done so like sealing your driveway and things like that I'll write down who, who we're gonna use and stuff like that um, gift ideas. Now this section, you know how throughout the year your family members mention things they might want for Christmas or they really like and then you forget and then you can't remember. So I want to write all this down. Now I don't know how well this is going to work for me if I have Snoopy children, but um, I guess if they want to ruin it for themselves then they uh, can have a look. So, uh, travel lists. Now, so I have things like my camping lists, packing lists. 
I also have a master packing list for our Disney trips that we take. Um, I also write out lists for anything so I can put stuff down that I need to buy for our trip, things that um, new things that I want to pack and things like that. Shopping list for the home. So this is not my uh, grocery list or anything like that, but I want to write down things like so if I remember, for example, my uh, Christmas tree stand broke or I need a new Christmas tree stand for next year, I'll write that down so that way I can always check back and see if I need anything and I'll, I'll have it on the list. Next section is birthday list. And over here, what I want to write down our family, like, like my sister's kids and my husband's sister's kids' birthdays and things like that. They're all new birthdays for me that I have a hard time keeping track of. So I want to write everyone's birthdays in here. So that way I can just look back and see whose birthday it is. I will also put that into the calendar, the monthly calendar that I have. But this is going to be like the master list. Then the next section is monthly meal plan. And again, I left a clear page cover for recipes. And then I print, uh, put out my uh, monthly calendar where I write down all the meals, uh, dinners for that month. And then I have coupons, which is a section where I'm going to put, like, if I get coupons mailed to me and things like that in here. I don't like cluttering my purse with it, so um, I'll just put them in there. And if I need to go shopping to a specific store, it'll be in there. So I hope this one uh, works for me. And, I yeah, I also left a few empty dividers in case if I come across other sections than I thought. I need to put in there. I actually came up with the section as I started this video, but now I can't remember what it was. I'm sure it'll come to me. So I will also have this um, in a block style, so you can, uh, and where I'll list all the sections that I have, and um, it'll be linked below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.